So in this video, I want to talk about Roxy on a more direct level and discuss about Roxy as a character. And no, there will be no spoilers in this video. If you do want to spoil a video, definitely tell me in the comment section down below and I will do a more spoiler driven style video. But right now I want to talk about season one and season two of Roxy and her relationship with Rudy and where she plays a part in the story and the goods and the bads. Remember, I'm the type of person that likes to weigh up the goods and the bads, so I always bring up positives and negative aspects. So if you can't handle someone that brings up both aspects, good and bad, then you're on the wrong channel. I know some people like channels where they just only say good things or only say bad things, but I am a much more balanced channel. So if you don't like that, you're on the wrong place. So the thing about Roxy is I've always seen her as a character that's always been very timid. She's not very outspoken. I mean, it's obvious. She's a little bit more withdrawn. But she does have her sort of inner feelings of what she desires and what she wants. And when you look at the relationship between Rudy and Roxy, it has always felt one-sided that Rudy has put Roxy on a very high pedestal and looked very highly of her because of what she did in the first season where she helped him overcome a major traumatic event, which is, of course, his past life. And looking at that, you could always see that Rudy has an unhealthy mindset, in my personal opinion. And this is something that's been backed up by another content creator that does a deeper dive on psychology. Of course, most of you know as Ed, or psychologist, where there is a bit of an unhealthy balance, where Rudy does put her way too high on a pedestal which can be unhealthy in many aspects. Now, when you go into a situation where Rudy is down in the dumps, and he needs someone to help him overcome these issues, yeah, the best person that was there was Roxy. No one else would have been appropriate to help him through that, because, sure, you could have had Lilia, that would have been awkward, because it's technically his stepmom, so that would have been weird, him sleeping with his stepmom. So, no, it wouldn't have worked. And so people also bring up, well, why sleep with someone? It, it, this is the thing that I've seen very much heavily discussed, that sleeping with someone is just a hormonal thing, it's a nut clarity thing, and I think people really treat these kinds of activities, I'm not going to use the word for YouTube's reasons, but let's just, just call it the S word, the fun word, the nighttime activity, whatever you want to use. When it comes to that activity, a lot of people look at it in a very one-dimensional sense of it's just about getting the juices out, getting the devil's juices and clearing the nut clarity kind of mindset. But I feel like that activity has been kind of dumbed down to a very pure sense and a one-dimensional sense and not looked at a bigger picture. And this is something I've talked about with Psychologist and Ed on a one of my first ever collaborations, which was like an interview of me, and I talked about relationships and stuff, and how I see relationship as one big massive pie or one big massive puzzle piece, and that activity is one section of the corner, and a lot of people treat it as very much of a more humanist instinct rather than looking at it as a whole equation of intimacy, connection, love, bonding, and by Roxy doing that activity with Rudy allowed him to connect to someone, to latch onto someone at his most dire need. He had lost someone very critical to him. Because if you understand Rudy's mindset, he never saw Paul as a father figure because of his past life. But when he saw what Paul did for him at that last moment, that's when he realized, oh, Paul was my dad. He was my father. And he protected me. He gave his life to protect my life, and that's when Rudy realized that Paul was his father, and that is when he felt true loss. Because he then had lost someone really meaningful to him. Sure, did they get along all the time? No. But he lost someone that he realized that meant something to him. And he's got a hole in his heart. He needs to connect to someone. He needs to feel something. He wants to be loved, he wants to love, and is his wife there? No. Is him cheating on his wife right? No. I want to be very clear there, because I know some people will try and claim that I'm saying cheating is okay. No, I'm not saying cheating is okay. I'm explaining why Rudy did it and why it makes sense. Not saying what he did is right, necessarily, but explaining why it makes sense. So I hope people are very clear on that and take me out of context. Because 
I've seen many comments in many places trying to claim that what Rudy was doing was like some nut clarity and it doesn't make sense from a literal... I feel like some people are very illiterate when it comes to these kind of things and it's kind of funny seeing some of the people say this being that they claim themselves to be very illiterate in themselves and put themselves on their own pedestal but they themselves do not understand the basic human connection that comes from that activity and why it was important that Rudy had someone to connect to. It's not just about verbal communication, it's about that other part as well. It's a whole equation. But again, yeah, cheating's not appropriate. Did Roxy go in it with ulterior motives? Yes, she admitted it to Sylphia that she had ulterior motives, and Sylphia even said, I wouldn't have believed you if you said you didn't. Roxy clearly had feelings for Rudy. Rudy clearly saw very highly of Roxy and clearly had a bit of a crush on her, even though he has a wife, because he put her on such a high pedestal. And there's clearly a bit of a connection there. So she was the most appropriate person to help mend that broken heart, that lost feeling inside of him, that void. Because if it was someone else like Lilia, that would have been extremely awkward. And then if you also had our lovely little feisty little elf, who has a boyfriend now, which is Cliff, that would have been extremely weird. And it would have been awkward as well, because then they would have had to go home and it, she would have had to explain to her own granddaughter, hey, by the way, I slept with your husband because he felt lonely. And I mean, she probably would have understood, but it would have been awkward from that point onwards. Roxy was the most appropriate person in that place to help him. And that's the thing. These are adults that understand that, hey, he needed someone there. And yes, that activity can help many people in the down and the dumps because it, allow, it just allows you to build a connection on a more intimate level. Again, cheating's not appropriate, but... I want to point those all out. And in my last video, I talked about who should have been in that room when that discussion happened. It should have been between Rudy and Sylvia. No one else should have been in that room. No siblings, no one. Unless there was a son or a daughter there, then yeah, those should have maybe been in that room, but there were none at that time. It was between Rudy and Sylvia. And at some point, if Sylvia wanted to talk to Roxy, then he could have brought Roxy in. What Rudy should have done was had Roxy in a room next to her, ready to be asked to come in when requested, and Rudy should have explained himself to Sylphia, and Sylphia can then ask him questions, interrogate him as she feels appropriate, and then if she wanted to talk to Roxy one-on-one -on -one or as a group, then it's her decision. By having everyone rammed in the room, it overwhelms certain party members, and it makes it harder to resolve issues, which is why Sylphia was the one that stepped up and said, no, Norn, I appreciate what you've done, but this is my decision. I'm the wife, I make the decision. And that's when she spoke to Roxy directly and said, hey, let's resolve this. I'm okay with you being a second wife. I know Rudy. And the other thing though too is before even all of this happened, she said she was okay with a second wife. She was okay with it. Rudy just kind of got a little bit gung-ho of himself going, oh, no, 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 I don't need a second wife. But Sylphia knew Rudy better than anyone. Sylphia knows Rudy a little bit better than what Rudy knows of himself in some aspects. Some aspects. I want to be very clear there, because I know some people go, well, actually, <laughs> he's puff. No, we're talking Rudy's let's say nightly activities and his drive inside down on his uh, one-eyed snake or peppy as some people will know the fun joke of. Sylviet knows him well enough in that aspect and I think Rudy was kind of gaslighting himself in that sense. Again, you're also going to look at the fact that those kinds of relationships are more, no, more, they're not super common, but they are accepted in many aspects and that's another thing also to discuss as well is I've seen many people saying that having more than one wife is not common in this world. Actually, it is somewhat common, but not super common. Because you've also got to remember that most of the men that have multiple wives are a very small percentage because, of course, they're taking up a more percentage of the pie when it comes to the women. And also, uh, women can have multiple husbands as well in this universe. It, it isn't just one-sided. And so it isn't like an, a completely unknown thing that happens. It does happen. It's just not super 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 common because of course it can't be because of its statistics and how it works but it isn't some 
unknown variable that's super rare. And also the story doesn't need to talk about those kinds of things because it's not the most important part to the story. There are other things that are more important. So people say, oh, but the story doesn't go into it that much. Yeah, because there are other things to discuss about. It doesn't need to explain every dumb itty gritty ditty detail. So I wanted to be very clear there. And then those using a parallel to the real world, um, having multiple wives is actually still common in some places in the world to this day. And it was much more common back in the old times. It was mainly when Christianity became a big thing, did having one man, one woman kind of thing became a more tradition when Christianity came into play. Now a lot of things have changed up as well and a lot more different traditions, but having multiple wives and multiple husbands back then was actually a lot more common than you realize, and especially having multiple wives because it was used as a political thing. Having concubines was a political move by some powerful entities, and especially when you had two individuals that were married that were doing it for political reasons, but they weren't really quite into each other and they weren't in love with each other. They would have concubines that they themselves had real feelings for, but the rules were was those children and those couples couldn't have any political power. It was the main power couple that got together, but they weren't really into each other, but they would have a child for political reasons. And so again, those things did happen for a multitude of different reasons, whether it was political or just someone very wealthy that could have that position of having multiple wives. It wasn't this non-existent thing. It does happen. It's just not as, like I said, it, I feel like some people make it sound like it's more rarer than what it really is, but it isn't as common also as what some people think. It's one of those in a sweet spot. So I wanted to discuss about it as a whole because it does delve into Roxy's relationship and how she fits in it because it does make sense from a story perspective. Does Rudy have a third wife? You'll just have to find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Of course, I know the answer. Most of you probably know the answer. You don't need to put it in the comment section because we don't need to spoil the people that are coming into the video. But if you do want to know those spoilers, check out my light novel reviews, my light novel analysis. They are on the channel. They'll be there for the time of doom. And I will be doing more of the end game side story stuff as well. But I will be talking about more character driven base analysis deep dives as time goes on. This is one of those discussing about Roxy's relationship and how she plays a part in this as a whole. And I think she does play a role. She's not my favorite out of all of the characters, if you know what I mean, but she is a character that I do feel plays a pivotal role. It's like I said, she's not my favorite because again, I've got to rank them in some way, but she is a character that I do like and I do like in this, well, I do think she plays a role and she should be in the story. And I think Sylvia understands that as well because Roxy, uh, Roxy is an important person to Rudy and Rudy is an important person to Sylvia and so she wants Rudy to be happy and if both of them can support him and have you know ground rules and that's something to also note because i know the anime isn't really going to delve into this but sylvia it's very good at building ground rules and establishing rules of like hey this is your place in the house this is my place in the house and they work together i just want to put that in there because even though it could be delved in the next season it kind of could have been explained in this season as well but i doubt it will be because it's it's a minor detail so think of that as like a little cut content thing but Sylvia's a great wife, I love her, I love Roxy, and I look forward to where the story goes from here on out. Again, I will be definitely talking about Mushoku Tensei much more in the future. This is my third video on the road, so definitely stay tuned for more Mushoku Tensei. So if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.